Hi, I hope you're well. Today, I have a small book review for you. When I was young, I used to try to draw and I used to have a lot of trouble drawing. I wasn't able to draw the way I wanted and I had really nobody to show me. So I would get very frustrated and very sad whenever I would start drawing and then I would quit. This book would have been a lifesaver for my young self. This book is called How to Draw Almost Everything by Chika Miyata. I love this book because I feel like it makes drawing accessible to everybody. It's obviously a great gift for a younger artist, like a child, to learn how to draw, but to anyone really. If you find that you love creating, you love painting, but you always struggled with the illustration part of it, this book would really empower you and make your life easier and give you great ideas on how to translate your everyday objects that you would like to draw into very simple conceptualized illustrations. The book is divided in different sections. There's a section for animals, people, plants, foods, and a bunch of other things. I like the approach of the book because it takes an object that might be complex to draw to someone that's never tried to do it before and it reduces it to very simple shapes. So when you take a dog and you break it down to just circles and ovals, it makes it so much more approachable to draw. Let's say you, you're trying to draw one specific animal. In the book, there will be five or six little sketches showing the different steps to get to the drawing of the animal. Another thing that I love about the book is that it's not theoretical whatsoever. It's strictly images. You don't have to go through big chapters to read on technical aspects of anything. There's just a few little pointers at the beginning and it's loaded with a bunch of images. I feel like the book helped to remind ourselves that when you try to illustrate something or create something, it doesn't have to be photorealistic for it to be interesting and aesthetically pleasing or communicating some kind of emotion. Something very naive or small or simple can do all those things as well. It can be a reference book if you're trying to draw a shark and you just don't know how to draw it, but it's also a book that you can pick up whenever you want to start doodling and do different exercises to kind of get better at illustration. And it's also a great idea book because if you don't know how to draw a duck, for instance, you get shown a specific way to, to get there, but by seeing it in the simplest little steps, it's deconstructed for you, it's made to be very simple, and it's showing you basically the recipe on how to get there for different animals or for coming up with your own style of that illustration. So you could take that illustration and do five or 10 different variations and you would discover new things just by seeing how this illustrator came up with that specific design. This is a great book to give as a gift to anyone that loves to create and it's also an amazing gift to give to yourself if you've been struggling with illustrations. Drawing can be time consuming, it can be difficult, complex, it can be challenging, it can be rewarding, it can be impressive, but it can also be a lot of fun, very easy and simple. And sometimes I tend to forget that. This is my reminder. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.